Hallelujah. You may be seated. We thank God for his mighty word unto our hearts. Amen. And he spoke of uh, Worldwide Vision Day, a new level. Amen. A new level, a new thing. Amen. And it's not really eight years. We are now into the ninth. We have finished eight and we are now into the ninth. The last one began the ninth. And nine means accountability. Are you getting it? Nine means finality. Are you there? Nine means judgment. Amen. So God is bringing his people into accountability. It's easy to just keep on rolling without reporting. It's easy to keep on rolling without completing. And that's where the devil want to get us. To not complete. Are you there? We're living in a time when we see so many great people of God who have fought over the years and now they are missing from the completion. That's, that's why God used the word last days. Don't get used to these words and forget the application. That's why God says last days. That's why God says end time. That's why we are in end time revival. And the best of people try to treat end time as the start or the middle. I thank God. And as we listen to God's servant as he speak and he speak of worldwide vision day and he speak of the world revival city. You have to try to understand why he did that. Because the latest one is the World Revival City. Yes. And if you don't get this, the other's going to fade. You better write that in the back of your Bible. You better write that in the back of your Bible. If we don't get this, all oh, the mighty revelation that we have spoken and have the world shaken. News media. Presidents. You know, not long ago, some of the country's government was subscribed to Harvest Army. Were subscribed. I saw them myself. After, after the Japan earthquake, countries in the East caused their department to subscribe. So we don't want another thing to happen. And we don't know Are you listening? Take it or leave it. If we don't get this last one, remember you were told the others gonna fade. Can we we always miss last, and we always want to to, to 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 still drive. You can't drive a car from America to Britain. Rolls Royce cannot get to Britain. You there? Many of us still have the Rolls Royce mentality for worldwide. You there? Hmm. Glory to God. Anybody not save here? Anybody not save? Holy Ghost, tell me. Don't miss that. Anybody not save? If you're here and you're not saved, we want to lead it to Jesus. We want to pray with you. And lead it to Jesus. If you're watching, and you're not saved. Anything can happen. And if you die tonight and you're not saved, the rest of your life will be a life of torment. But if you're here and you want to get saved, we'll pray with you. Anybody? Pass me not, oh, gentle Savior. He, it's already late. My home. But cry. Anybody not safe? Come, we're gonna pray with you. Whoa, why? What another's die are called calling. Thank you. Whoa, do not pass me 
everybody. Thank you. Some of you, some of you have been preaching this week, and the Lord been ministering to you. You, you quote a verse in Proverbs, I believe, twenty-one verse twenty or twenty verse twenty-one, and you talk about the treasure in the house. Give me that verse, please. I'm gonna let you go because time is gone. Glory to God. Twenty-one twenty. Hit me. Hit. Get me. Hit me. Come on, one of your strong readers, just read it for me. So there, there is treasure and oil in the house. And some folks squander it. Squander it. They don't know Matthew 13, 44. He said the kingdom of heaven is that treasure hidden in a field. Which when a man has found, he hides it. And for joy thereof, go and sell all and, and buy that field. And we, we all preach up that, preach up that, 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 that scripture, but miss it. We don't preach it the right way. Give me, give me that one in Proverbs 21, 20. To Proverbs. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, Bishop. I want a word to hear you. Hallelujah. It's our fault, which I've given you a mark. Hit it, hit it. Proverbs 21, 20. Proverbs 21, 20. There is treasure to be desired mm. and oil in the dwellings of the wise. But foolish, but a foolish man spendeth it up. Mm. Thank you. Sit down. It's World of Bible City. The man of God spoke of Worldwide Vision Day. Then he ended with World Revival City. But there is an accountability. What he's saying is connecting the explosion, the new thing, impact of Worldwide Vision Day to World Revival City. Come remember, there's nothing mightier than revival. Are you there? There's nothing mightier than World Revival. And out of Worldwide Vision Day will come revival. Are you with me, somebody? Are you getting the connection? But it's easy to be excited about all that was before. The great gathering, Worldwide Vision Day, and all the others. And miss this moment. Miss the moment of the treasure in the home. You got to have a home. When Worldwide Vision Day came on the scene, listen to me, I'm letting you go. Our main home, the main place of, of or, or, or the, the main center, the central was New York. And now the officials in New York are warning New York to evacuate wisely, wisely. They are warning them to evacuate because of a potential nuclear. So God knows what he's doing. God is setting up a place, a central place from which the world will shake and be revived. But most of us don't get it. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. In your house, if you're building a have you ever been in the Caribbean? Most of the Caribbean I see this. Folks start to build a house. And then they stop about three quarter. And that three quarter house stayed here for 30 years till it rocked to the ground. When they were building, they said, What a what a lovely start. What a lovely foundation. You, be, you begin to <coughs> view how the living room is gonna be. Then it just stopped. And nothing more. It's very easy to do that. Our main problem is completing. Yes. And I'm, I'm going to cut this and just tell you something. The Lord has blessed that the world revival city has amassed over six hundred thousand dollars. Glory to God. I wish you never clap. I wish you never clap. Yeah, I wish you never clap. Because let me tell you something. If we don't complete this thing, it's not going to be good. In your house, Bishop, the reason why they did not complete 
is because they thought they can just use a, a little money and buy another bag of cement and did not count the total cost. Every part of the move of God must have a personal calculation without the leader tell you. And you must know when you calculate that if you don't come up with 10,000, it's not going to be completed. Come on, come on. You don't get it. So you can clap for the pass huh? and lock it in the middle. Are you there? We always talk about the pass and talk about what accomplishes it. Oh! Are you with me, somebody? Every participant, every leader, Every member must make their own personal evaluation and don't sit and, and say, okay, our leader will get it done. That's the unwise conclusions that are in the mix right now. You have got to have a, you got to sit and say, wow, well, oh, if I don't put in 5,000, it's not going to be completed. It's not going to be completed. You there? If I don't put in 10,000, it's not going to be completed. I remember, I'm going to tell you something you never heard. The biggest church in the world at that time was a church in South Korea. And God led that man. Does anybody remember the name of the church? Some of you went there and preached anyway. A full gospel, but they have a name for it. And the head of it was a man called Young Gi Cho. Yeah? And we, we met his pastor in Brazil and gave him the vision to hire there. And that man, people, people, you know, everybody talk about Young Gi Cho Church. And, you know, we've been, I've been there. And, 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 wow, when they go there, they have so much fluids. And, wow, 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 what you don't know that that man, that church reached about three quarter for a long time for a long time and wouldn't move any further. Are you listening? And one day that man, somebody say man. Somebody say man. Not angel. Somebody say man. He realized he can't handle it. And he went into the building that we street water and said, God, let it fall on me. You, you never heard that. You never ever. You only heard the good part when preaching young bitch out. He went under it because everything halted and the people didn't understand nobody they said okay this great man of god he spoke it's gonna happen and they never made a personal evaluation i said if i don't do my part it will not happen and he went under it <laughs> and said god let it fall on me And it didn't fall on him. <laughs> and one man from America sent him thirty thousand dollars, thirty thousand dollars, and hope back the tour, hope back the tour, break the halt, break the stagnancy, that they were able to finish. Oh my God! Can I tell you something? Very heavy. The world revival city will be built. It will, it, 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 it will be finished. And just, just this week, I was looking over Florida. I love, to, I love to check everything. And I look at every church available in Florida. I look at every church. You know, north, south, east. I look at every church that is available for sale. And if you see the price, let me tell you something. You, God, you take out two thirds of your money. I'm not going to say all. If you see the price, if we let this pass, I will offer it. If we let this pass, you can buy what you're going to have to pay for. Because almost every other building called church is selling is four million, five million, seven million. Are you there? And God give you this privilege of one million I don't I, I thought I would see some other 1.5 or you know 1.2 no after this one you're not listening after this one five million 
Come back to the scripture. Proverbs 21, 20. Oil is in the house. Treasure is in the house. But it's being squandered. Don't keep it. Don't keep it. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. I said, God have ways to finish it. <laughs> you can hear everything. God have ways to finish it. Because God says something God is going to happen. Glory to God. Glory to God. I, I must encourage you, every one of you. Every one of you across the world. Every one of you. Every member. Look at it yourself. Quit looking for motivation from a little nobody. Quit it. And take responsibility. Don't be like some men in the home. Don't know if they don't go home with money. Rent don't pay. And they come home Friday. Sit down. Read a newspaper. And brought him no money. And expect somebody to motivate him to pay the rent. Are you with me? Are you with me? Are you with me? No, don't do that. Sit down as a responsible child of God. Some of you have given already. But after you have given, you still look. And you see. If I don't give again, it's not going to work. You got to see that. You got to be honest with yourself. You got to evaluate. I'm talking all from here to the other branches, New York. You, you got to evaluate. Don't be dishonest with yourself. You got to be honest. And say, you know what? If I don't do this, you know, this thing may not work. I'm going to say it all. That's what I'm going to ask. He's a treasure. There's oil in the house. Don't squander it. Don't squander those monies you have in your, in your account. Don't squander it. If I tell you a secret, you, you take the mic and finish, and finish for me. If I tell you a secret. And tonight we're going to have a little meeting after church. I'm going to tell some the secret. If I tell you, oh my God. Oh my God. Don't even consider to fight this, this effort I'm making. Don't even try it. Don't even try it. To even fight. Don't try it. Dangerous. Look at it yourself. Look in your house. Look in your account. Don't squander it. Don't keep it while your ministry needs it. And you know Church, what we try to get me church. Try to be responsible. Look at it and say, we got to do something. I've done it already, but I've got to do more. Oh, my friend myself gave a hundred thousand. And we look and say, no, that's that not gonna be good enough. And gave a lot more. We gave a lot more. But you have to be wise as a leader. Do you hear what I said? Give a lot more. I say a lot more. We have to be wise. How you represent it. That's not the leader church. Stand up everybody. Hallelujah. There's treasure and all you in the house. Don't squander it. Be responsible. Be mature. And let, let's finish this thing. The devil can handle the finish. He can handle the completion. Don't fall to that stuff. Can't handle finish. Looking for something to happen. Waiting for an, an announcement of who have added to it. Don't do that. Don't be that childish. Take it up and come in. Huh? And say, Apostle, Pastor, I look at this thing. Here is 30,000. I'm telling you. If you don't have it, don't, don't worry yourself. But if you have it, don't squander it. I'm telling you, you do nothing, you squander it. You got, you, you got, you got to get the connection. You got to get the connection between the preacher tonight. I'm giving you heart. 
Glory to God. If you get the connection, you do nothing, you squander. And let me tell you, when this is completed, you're going to be happy. And Anna's going to be happy. What Bishop don't understand that when Worldwide Vision Day began, it began more in an harvest army than a harvest army. <laughs> Churches from everywhere, even right now, more than half are not harvest army. But they work so close to think they're harvest army. The priest is saying we think it's harvest and they're not. But we still take, we still take the word so we can upgrade and improve. Are you there? Many, when it started, almost none of us um, are there. But when the pandemic came, oh, raka, raka, sakata, some of the great men, the holy men, the holy women, they bowed. And the moment they bowed, they lost it. They lost that, oh, that heart, that, mm, that burden. Go normal, but praise God, the yoke will be broken. The yoke will be broken. Many years ago, God showed me two sets of people. I don't fully understand it yet, but I'm kind of getting it. He showed me two sets of people, hallelujah, that He has altered to be minister to two sets of people. Two, I don't fully get it yet. I can't lie, I don't fully get it yet, but I'm getting it a little. Father, in your mighty hand, I, I place your people. Your servant will speak tonight. I pray, God, that what little can come from the pulpit, minister to the responsible, minister to those, God, who have decided to be pillars cornerstone we have decided to be honest to look critically at your mighty hand and say I will be a part of the end of it I will be a part of the last aspect of it I will be a part of the completion I may have done much in the initiation but I will be a part of the completion because I'm mature, I'm honest, I realize what's necessary. Father, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke the devil. I rebuke every devouring spirit. I bless those who are even intimidated by the city. Help them, Lord. Help them, Lord. For one day they will need it to run to them. Deliver, Lord. Bless, Lord. And raise up mighty men. Raise up mighty women. Glory to God. Like Simeon shouted out and said, May thy servant go in peace. Mighty men, mighty women can arise with power, fire, unmoved by criticism. Unmoved by enemies, unmoved by tradition, unmoved by norms, that it can be said, may thy servant go in peace. In Jesus' name. Some of you cast some money for a revival. If you come, bring some money. Bring some money right now. Come on. Bring some money for a revival. Glory to God. Bring some money. Everybody, bring some money for world revivals. Shame, brother, to cut the market. Man, brother, the market. She, because she the money. Everybody, bring some money for world revivals. Mingi, the bagana. God reveal that 40, 40 with 10,000 10, would have to finish this thing. And I believe. I believe two have come in about two and two have pledged. So we're about 36. About 36. You, if you have 10,000 in your account, come and give it. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. 
God, come and give it. If you don't have 10, you have five, come and give it. Glory to God. Come and give it. Just come and give it. Come and make it available. Come and make it available. That's what I mean. Come and make it available. We can't save it again. Come and make it available. You will not lose it. You cannot lose it. This is a responsible move of God. You will not lose it. You cannot lose it. No matter it look, you will never lose it. Come on, everybody, bring do something for the world revival. I could, I could go a different way. I could, but I'm just going to close off this part. I could go a different way and spend time and say, no, 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 it's okay. Bring something for the world revival. Glory to God. I say, God will finish it no matter what we do. But we won't let some of God finish. You're not even thinking. You're not even thinking in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Don't let God have to finish it himself. Don't let God have to think of God have a way when it's in my own arm. <laughs> I mean, no one then God use his own arm. Come on, bring some. Bring some. Don't get it. Are you finished? Stand up, everybody. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Office, please. Hallelujah. Hey, hey. Anything God's going to happen is going to happen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Pledge of 5,000 for from the Mattis family. That's what I'm talking about. They, they ain't driving no Rolls Royce. Yeah? I could tell you, mm, you know, Jesus. But look at this. But this, 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 this donation is from responsibility and honesty. That if I don't do this, it's not going to happen as I'm looking for. God always causes people to be the ones involved. But he can do it himself. He better pray for, for understanding. He can do it himself. He never need a man to do nothing. He said, my own arm brought salvation. All the mighty apostles who every move Jesus moved, they were with him, they touched him. But the time came when Jesus said, No, 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 and they couldn't get it. They couldn't get it. That's why he rose up, Paul. <laughs> Come on. You finish? You finish? Are you finished? Should they answer the offering? Father, we bless and we sanctify and we dedicate this mighty offering for the world revival city. Somebody in Jesus' name. God bless.